Welcome to this Smartsheet tutorial. Today, we are going to be looking at how you can add a checkbox into a sheet in the Smartsheet. Now, what I've done here is I've opened up my home interface and I'm just going to open up a new sheet. Now, what you need to do when you want to create a checkbox column is you need to change the column type. So in the case of this tutorial, I'm going to, to do it to column two. One thing to note is you cannot change the primary column um, to a check checkbox column. That won't work. You will need to either create a new column by right clicking on the column and clicking insert column right. Or you will need to do so via editing one of the other existing columns. So I'm going to show you both ways. So we'll start with column two. Now what you need to do is you need to scroll down to the bottom and you need to click edit column properties. Now what you want to do here is you want to click the checkbox option. Now at this stage, you can either restrict the entire column to checkboxes or you can have it in some rows and not others. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to restrict it to checkbox use only. So make sure that that's ticked if you want every row to have a checkbox. Once you hit OK, then that will change the column type to checkbox. Now, you may note that you cannot see the checkboxes here. Now, this can be very, very confusing. What you need to do to, in order for them to show and for the, the column to work effectively is you need to start entering, entering data. So for instance, I'm going to enter test in column three and you will see the checkbox in the column where the checkbox functionality has been applied. So if, if I'm going to drag all this way, if I'm going to drag this all, all the way to the bottom, you'll see that the checkboxes are now in place for each of those corresponding rows. So that's the first way. But assuming I'm going to save this for future reference, Assuming that you're already working in a in a in a in a sheet and you wanted to add this new checkbox column, you might not want to edit an existing column. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to scroll across to the very end, right click on the column, the last column, and you can insert column right. Let's name it. And again, here you would click the checkbox option and again, restrict to checkbox use only. And in doing so, as we already have a sheet of existing data, you will see that a checkbox has been applied against each row where there is data. So for instance, in row eight, you do not have a checkbox. Now, I hope this tutorial was useful today. If you have any questions regarding this particular process, please do drop a comment down in the section below, or if you have any other functionality that you would like me to cover, also uh, let me know down below. And if you find this video particularly useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to be notified of when we release new videos just like this.